So I think I have it now. I think I understand. Uh, by turn, uh, by six turns into the game, this is the furthest basically Pompey's forces probably could have advanced. These are the initial forces that come onto the map. And by turn uh, four, five, and six, the uh, Caesar's forces would have been very much in position. And the Marines, you know, I, we could probably move them another six hexes. That's why I adjusted the movement here for these guys and actually angled them uh, to cover that rear flank. Uh, the balance of the reinforcements by turn six are all kind of clogged up trying to get through uh, this uh, construction and the walls and the river and all that sort of good stuff and not take cohesion hits. Uh, using the Civil Great Battles of History rules, uh, you can take a hit uh, as an option, depending on the terrain type. And uh, if you can take the hit and carry on at a certain number of movement points, or you can pay an extra movement point and not take the hit. Now, when you cross these types of the ramps and ditches and things like that, ramparts, uh, you definitely have to take a hit to cohesion. So that's going to be interesting. It'll be actually be the first game I will play with... Uh, with that rule in place uh, where it's going to be uh, of a significant impact. So really what we are now looking at is uh, an opportunity to get started. So we're going to actually play the game from this point forward. I am really, really tempted, <laughs> really tempted to take the 10th uh, Legion and just go and just cream Pompeii because I, I know they can take them. But we're going to use them as a reserve force and see what happens, and then wait and see how beat up Pompey is, if indeed they do get beat up, and then attack him, and hopefully kill him. Ah, oh, I didn't say that out loud, did I? All right.